Times now has learned of a secret meeting between Ulfa, the central government, as well as the state government. This meeting is being held in utmost secrecy somewhere in West Bengal today. Interlocutor PC Haldar, senior Assam government officials, three to four members of Ulfa team, led by Ulfa Foreign Secretary Sasha Chaudhary, along with Deputy in charge Raju Barwa and Finance Secretary Chitraban Hazarika, are all present in this particular meeting. Wasbir Rusen, in fact, joins us uh, with more details. Wasbir, take us through uh, whether this meeting was, in fact, planned in the past as well and who all are part of this particular meeting. Well, uh, the meeting, this is a secret meeting uh, between the three senior alpha leaders, uh, which is being led by Soso Chaudhary, the foreign secretary, the finance secretary, Chitraban Hajarika, and deputy commander-in-chief, Raju Barwa. These three alpha leaders are going to meet today with the representative of the central government led by interlocutor PC Haldar and the joint secretary in the Ministry of Home Affairs and the home commissioner to the government of Assam, Mr. Jishnu Barwa, and senior intelligence officials from the government of Assam are attending this meeting. This meeting is going to be held in a couple of hours' time in West Bengal, uh, basically to uh, you know keep a secrecy already, basically to keep the media at bay. So basically, this meeting is going to prepare the modalities for a ceasefire agreement, for a formal ceasefire agreement between the uh, pro-talk alpha faction and the government. Because as you know, uh, ever since uh, the peace process started with the release of alpha chairman Arbinder Rajkwa and his colleagues from prison in, uh, on the this process kick started on the 1st of January, there has been at least two meetings. The last meeting was held in New Delhi, where the alpha leaders also attended, also met the Prime Minister Manmohan Singh though briefly. But this is the second tripartite meeting between the Ulfa and the government, and this meeting is going to take the crucial decision of a formal ceasefire agreement or cessation of hostilities between the pro-talk Ulfa faction led by Arabinder Rajkwa and the government. This is significant because the, the deal, the ceasefire agreement may in fact be announced before the Assam uh, goes to polls, and the first phase of the polls, as you know, is on the 4th of April, and the second phase is on the 11th of April. So we can, we, we, we hope to see a ceasefire agreement in place before the elections actually get started. And this is also significant because the hardliners led by the elusive commander-in-chief Paresh Barwa has already sounded a formal warning to the ruling Congress party, accusing the Congress of having caused a split in the Alpha a charge with uh, Chief Minister Torun Gogoi and his party government in the state okay. has strongly denied. So basically, this is, uh, this is one step forward to the peace process, basically formalizing a ceasefire agreement so that there is uh, no confusion on the ground among the security force personnel and the run-up to the elections.